Well, you know, I, I heard the news. I woke up this morning and heard the news when I opened up my laptop and um and I saw some emails from, you know, my my, my, my people, my team, and you know, it, it hurts, man. Um, uh, you know, the BC boys helped me break into the business. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I wouldn't even be standing here talking about the things we're doing if it wasn't for them. You know, a lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people think it's about the the fact that they were the first white rappers. But, hey, those those first white rappers actually brought into the business one of the greatest big black rappers, you know, ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't about color. Like, these guys were, you know, Adam is, you know, he's an amazing guy, you know, and it, it hurts. And I know they have millions of fans. I know they have you know, millions of people out there who are suffering and hurting today, but I would just encourage people to try to preserve, to preserve their legacy by continuing to represent the culture that Adam loved, you know? And that's why wherever I go, it's still hip hop. You know, I'm here doing this, it's still hip hop. It's still earrings, it's still hats, it's still hip hop. You know, I'm not gonna shy away from my culture. And, you know, I really love the guy, you know? and. I have an affinity from all of those guys that I came up with, you know, because, you know, we paved the way for, you know, the kids that are doing it now. And, you know, it hurts, man. It's tough, you know.